From historic Walter Brown Arena on the campus of Boston University, we've got a head-to-head top 25 of college hockey tonight. A rivalry that dates back a century taking the ice. The ninth-ranked Crimson of Harvard out of the ECAC and the eighth-ranked Terriers of BU from Hockey East this year. Sent around. And not able to clear. That was Jack Parr. Got it to the line, but not out. Now bouncing along the side of the net there. Kaplan trying to settle it down. Shot! They score! Quinn Hudson, the 20-year-old freshman for the Terriers, makes it 1-0 on the power play. play because players who don't kill penalties are sitting on the bench for a couple of minutes early. So I think players are now starting to get into the game, and we're starting to see the pace pick up. Christy. Here's a one-timer, a shot! Oh, it looked like it went in. The crowd reacted, but it stayed out of the net somehow. Well, in the first period, otherwise he's played very well here tonight. Now McCarthy kept it low to the ice. Rebound out in front, slid right through the crease. 15 seconds to go in the man advantage. Now LaFerriere tipped again off the skate of Tuck. He's missed clears. They're going to come back to fight BU. Farrell, LaFerriere, pad save, rebound, they score! Ties it at one. Foot race. It comes to Brown. 39 seconds to go. Outlet pass. Here's Skoog on the right wing. Brown going toward the middle. Fensori calls for it. He scores! It's over. BU wins it. Two to one in overtime. Big win for the Terriers and a nice way to finish this one here, Walter Brown. Their 12th win of the year, the Boston Terriers in overtime, 2-1 the final. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was a, I thought it was a great college hockey game. Um, I thought the pockets of the game that we played really well. Uh, I thought there were times where we were actually dominating play. Um, we had some great chances. You got to give their goalie credit. Played really well. You know, he made some big saves. Um, you know, they have a really good power play. I thought their power play gave them some momentum. Um, they had some good chances on that, but I thought Drew Camesso played great. I thought our penalty kill was really good tonight. Um, but they're, they're up there in, in, in the NCAA with their power play percentage, so I thought we did a really good job with that. Um, but overall, our effort from top to bottom was excellent. Um, and then it was, it was great to see us stick with it after we gave up a goal late. And then to win it in overtime, we stuck with it. Um, you know, we didn't get down. And then obviously at the end there, Dom, you know, made a heck of a play and a great finish. So it was great to see. Washington, Dom. Um, for coach or Dom? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, overtime going in the third after they tie it up late. How do you guys stay focused in a game that was so close? Um, and you guys seem to um, kind of get stopped a couple times in the third. Yeah, I don't honestly think it didn't really change anything what we were playing. I think we just kind of get back to our game and our plan and the structure. So, um, yeah, in overtime, we wanted to end it. Um, good thing we did. It was a big one for us. What did you see on that play against the goalie that made some really big saves, especially late in the game? Yeah, we, we were going glove on him all game, so um, decided to shoot a little blocker and went in, so, <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, <clears throat> no easing back into the second half of the schedule. Just talk about having an opponent like this and in an environment like this uh, tonight. Yeah, it was awesome. It was packed. We knew it was going to be packed going in, so we we were expecting a great atmosphere, and um, it was it was awesome. Uh, a lot of guys were saying, I hope we can, can we play every game here, but um, <laughs> but no, yeah, it was awesome. Good, good atmosphere, and we really fed off that. So it was, uh, yeah, and Harvard's a great team, so it was really good to play them first game back. It was a good test for us, and uh, good thing we came out the win. So. And then looking to next week, when you guys head to Arizona, what are the main things you kind of want to take from this game into that um, tournament? Yeah, I thought we had a great um, kind of full six. I mean, obviously they got a they got a power play goal there late, but I thought for the most part we outplayed them most of the game. And um, you know, when we play the way we you know we can play, it's it's hard to play with us and skate with us. So if we if we bring that to Arizona, hopefully we can hopefully we can get our first uh, trophy of the year. So yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean. You know, personally, I, I love playing here, um, but um, I just think that you know, with the low ceilings, um, the crowd right on top of you, it's, it's things happen really quick here. Um, emotions get high quickly, and, and I thought our guys handled it very well. Um, we practiced here the last three days. I think that helps too, to get used to the to the ice surface a little bit. Again, this is a, a little bit wider than, than here, so 
I think it was really good to have three days of uh, practice here to get used to this rink. But the guys were excited. The guys were excited, but we knew it was going to be a full house, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a, it was a great game. Um, no Ethan Phillips tonight. Was there any reason for that? And then could you speak to the Peterson hit? We kind of thought he wouldn't come back, then he was back in the first. So what happened there? Yeah, um, Phillips got hurt in the UConn game. He actually finished the game, but he's got a lower body, body injury that's going to keep him out at least a couple weeks here. So that's why he was in the lineup. Uh, the Peterson hit, yeah, he got he got hit pretty hard there. Um, I don't know if he got the wind knocked out of him, but he, he ended up going going off for only a couple minutes. He came back. He was fine after that. It it didn't look good when he was <clears throat> going off, but so but it wasn't necessarily a. Head injury, you just you said you got the wind knocked out. I think it was more wind. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think that's what he's having trouble breathing more than anything okay. else. Um, I didn't get confirmation on that, but that's what it looked like to me. For him to come back that quick, mm -hmm. um, I was guessing it wasn't head. Um, then a big topic of discussion going into the break was kind of discipline with penalties. Even though you took a couple, the PK seemed to be pretty good tonight, minus the one Harvard goal. But what you like from the special teams? I think the special team is great. They got a really good power play. Um, you know, they get, they're going to get chances when, when you have the talent they do out there. And uh, I think when they did, Drew came up huge. He came up he came up huge for us. Um, I think our penalty kill was more aggressive tonight, and that's what we're trying to do. I, I thought the first half we weren't great uh, on the kill, and we're trying to focus on being a little bit more aggressive, uh, making sure we get our clears. Uh, I think their, their goal ended up being even strength. I think it was the power play had just expired. Um, so I think it ended up being an even strength goal. So it's going to help our percentage, at least. <laughs> Uh, Gibson's making those stops in the third period. Just how do you, as a coach, kind of manage the bench and make sure that guys aren't aren't getting a little too anxious trying to force plays? Yeah, we talked about you know over here to the ice. Um, you know, it's been hot the last couple of days, so the ice was soft, and we talked about you know just keep getting pucks on them. You know, you got to give him credit; he played really well, and um, you know we had some point blank chances and. Sometimes you got to tip your hat when a goalie's playing like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think we were, like Tom said, we were going glove quite a bit on him, and then um, you know Tom beat him blocker side. What did you see in his game tonight? Obviously, he scores the winning goal. He just seemed to be really involved, kind of everywhere. Just yeah, I, I can't say enough about Dom. Uh, to be honest with you, he's um, he's been incredible this year from from day one. Um, he's been a great leader. Like he he controls the game offensively, defensively. Uh, he's one of the most competitive kids I've been around. Um, cares about his teammates, so he, he's been unreal this year in, in my eyes. And I think you know if you watch, come watch us play. I mean, you're gonna notice him pretty quickly.